Good morning everyone, welcome back to a, another vlog and the first, actually kind of the second vlog on the farm, but the first actual farm day vlog on the new farm. Uh, as you can see, we've got $218,319. Uh, the original property over at Westbridge Hills actually went through finally and we got that. It was $68,200, if I'm not mistaken, something like that. And uh, yeah, pretty happy with that. So there's a couple of things that needs to happen today. Firstly, I need to start harvesting the sorghum. That needs to happen today. Well, it doesn't have to happen today, but it has to happen in the next couple of days. So I'm going to get it done today. One problem, however, we do not have a harvester. But I have called the local dealership. And it's a, again a Clever Motors. They're everywhere. And we can lease one. Or borrow one, or rent one, whatever you want to call it. So, yeah, we need to harvest this one. So, yeah, this field here will be harvested uh, today. It's not very big. It shouldn't take us too long to do. We don't have a silo, so we're just going to sell it. Sell it straight away. Uh, we could potentially buy a harvester if I can speak to Clever Motors and they have one on sale. I don't think they do. They uh, don't really do harvesters very often on sale. It's usually like show models and stuff like that that they, uh, you know, do. So I'm going to actually give them a call and see if they have anything and just ask what the prices are regarding all of that. And then we'll I have to find them first, actually. I have to, I think it's down there close to that massive silo or at least on in that direction. Uh, I think I drove past that on the way in. Can't remember, but we'll we'll have a look. It was quite late, so I couldn't really see everything properly. But yeah, I'll give them a call and we'll see what we can get. All right, as you can see, uh, they do have a little bit of stuff. Uh, I actually, there is a uh, weeder that they actually have on sale. So I ended up leasing the harvester. It's only $3,550, if I remember correctly, uh, from just seeing up there. And then it was a quick call. Uh, they do have a weeder on sale that it was a show model that I'm going to have a look at. And then if we do want that, we'll, we'll get that done. I uh, literally just gave them all of my details and the lease has already gone through works really well really smooth so pretty happy with that so um we're gonna go see if we can find <laughs> clever motors and then go pick up the harvester and obviously we'll have to leave the truck there for the time being and make a plan we'll probably i don't think the harvester will fit on the low loader I think it's right here. And then the first left. And then pretty much straight down the road from what I can... And I might be the one I'm seeing there. Right. We'll see. We'll see. I'm not 100% sure where it is. But uh, I'm sure we'll find it fairly easy. I think it's this one on the right here. The Yeah, it looks like it. I feel like I saw orange. Yes, I did see orange. That is it. Cool. Happy days. We are definitely... Is it this one? Yeah, there's an entrance there. Oh, sorry, sir. Do you mind... Oh, okay. You just go ahead, sir. Right. I'm going to cut in front of him. Sorry. My bad. Oh, there it is. Okay, so they put the, the weeder out for me to look at as well. They don't really have a showroom here. Um, they got, like, a tiny one, but all of the... Oh, the free stuff for the 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 uh what am i trying to say here the show stuff the show models are all um stored away essentially and then when somebody wants to look at it they put it out right i want to park maybe over here can't clearly not park just in the middle of nowhere that wouldn't be right all right we'll park over here And I'll quickly have a look at the weeder. I feel like the weeder looks good from what I've seen over here. And it's a fairly big one. I think it's a 9 meter working width from what he mentioned. And it was literally just a show model. So it's never been used. It was literally just in a um, showroom. Not theirs necessarily. But it was in a Clever Motor showroom somewhere. I think it looks good. I think we should get it. 
It's interesting that it's got pipes and stuff. What is it? Is it only a weeder? Does it look... Maybe it's a uh, fertilizer as well? Kind of looks like it fertilizes as well. Which could be pretty good. Right, I'm going to go speak to them. Um, to be honest, I'm not sure where to go here. We'll go to the tiny one first. I guess. I think that might be the services department. I'm not sure. Right, I'm going to speak to them. I'll find out where they are, speak to them, and then we'll see you guys in a sec. Righto, they wanted 9,400 for the weeder. It's actually a cedar as well. Uh, it's not complete as it is. There are actually... They, well, you can use it as is, but uh, you can actually expand the, the seeding capacity. Uh, I think you have to, from what I understand. But... As a weeder, this is pretty big and it works really well. So, uh, 9,400, it's, again, a pretty good deal. And though we don't need it right now, we will definitely need weeders. So, I'm going to definitely be looking for sales. I'm trying. I'm going to try not to buy too many complete secondhand stuff that are in bad situations because we don't have a nick here. Why are they looking at my truck? We don't have a nick here, um, so I don't really know what i'll do if i buy something that doesn't fully work so that's the the only problem with that so yeah let's um turn this on obviously pretty much brand new or whatever they they call this it is a lease model so it's being taken care of i guess from their perspective uh and it works fully so that's all i care about it was only three thousand five hundred dollars and $3,550 or whatever. And it would cost us significantly larger amount of money to buy this. It's not very fast. Can you stop looking at my truck, please? It's a bit weird. Anyway. right. I'm on the wrong side of the road here. Actually, actually, this might be just the exit. I'm not sure. I kind of feel like this is the exit and that one's the entrance. Don't know. Not sure how they work it. Right, this is going to be a pretty slow drive uh, because this thing is pretty slow. <laughs> 12 miles an hour is the max speed. I don't know what the working speed is going to be. Probably be maybe 6 or 7 miles an hour, which is fine. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have a massive capacity. So what we'll probably have to do is use this to actually go sell as well because we don't have a trailer. So we'll, it's not a big field, so we might be able to fit everything in here. Anyway, I'm going to drive home and get all set up, get the drone up and all that good stuff and have a quick look at where to actually sell this so that we know where to drive. So I'll see you guys when I'm there. <clears throat> All right, that is all done. Pretty quick, actually. Um, actually, quite easy. And happened really... For, oh, it's filled. Okay, cool. Well, not filled, but there is uh, obviously stuff in, so we can't actually fold it while there's stuff in, which makes sense. Only 1,767 liters. That is not a lot. That is going to be, I don't know, maybe a grand. It's actually more expensive for us to rent, to lease this machine then we will make money. But it is a learning experience and I kind of enjoyed it. I thought that was pretty fun. Uh, something I haven't actually done for myself ever, as in on my own farm ever. So quite happy with that. We're obviously now driving on one of our neighbor's farms, uh, which we probably shouldn't, have, shouldn't be doing, but at least there's no crops and stuff. So we're not able to damage anything i do know where i'm going by the way i'm not just kind of driving on uh you know just autopilot just driving in any direction 
I have a pretty good idea of where we're going to actually sell this. It is the farmer's market, which should be over there somewhere. I did have a look on the on the phone, on the map, while I was harvesting that. So yeah, um, that was quite fun. I enjoyed that. A very, very small field, isn't it? It's really, really tiny. My, my, my inclination is to combine those three fields. Once they're all harvested, I feel like it would make sense to combine that. I don't know if it'll be worth harvesting the sunflowers. I'll have a look at the price and and all that. Maybe, I mean, I don't foresee us getting much more than we did now out of the sunflowers. There are two fields, so it could be... Actually, there's th three fields of sunflower, so it could be worth it. But, yeah, I don't know. And then the corn. The corn is the largest field. But I know, I'll, I'll have to definitely have to have a look. I am not sold on the idea of we'll actually make money with the harvests of this year. But that's okay. That's fine. Our main goal is still to do cows. And that's what I want to do. Uh, I'm very, very excited for that. But we can't have any cows until we can actually feed them. So in the meantime, I will look for things on sale things that I can afford and I'll do a job here and there and uh, through the agency uh, they do have an agency here as well pretty much most uh, affluent farming communities have a form of an agency that you can do contract work through so or at least that's what I've noticed most towns I've actually been in have an agency of some shape or form so i don't know where the agency is yet i'll have to find out uh maybe have a look at you know the old days they called it yellow pages i don't know where they would craigslist probably not craigslist i don't know i'll i'll join the the facebook farming community around here uh farming groups and i'll i'm sure people will be helpful uh people usually are quite helpful so they uh people especially farmers you know uh a rising tide lifts all ship lifts all ships so you know most uh, most farmers in general always want to help out the other farmers so yeah pretty cool uh i am not sure where to go with this they said around back so i'm gonna drive around back and have a look Ooh, and also i need to remember this is going to be the auger what do they call it Auger? Auger? I think it'll be somewhere around here. Right. I'm actually going to go inside, have a chat, and meet everyone since it is my first farming day here. Uh, my Only my second day here. So it's probably a good idea to actually start to get to know, know people. Uh, the guy from Clever Mojo is one I spoke to was Chad. Uh, I don't have a last name yet. But yeah, it was just the name tag on his chest said Chad. So... <laughs> I hope you have the right name tag on. Anyway, I'm going to quickly jump inside and have a quick chat and get this unloaded and all that good stuff. All right, $1,100. So <laughs> definitely not worth the um, cost of the harvester. But like I said, it is a experience. It is something we learned and something I quite enjoyed actually. So, yeah, I can't complain. Um, sometimes life is not just about making money. So, ooh, can I go straight through there? That is essentially where we want to go. I'm going to try it. There's another road there. That's probably the best idea. But I kind of want to try... Actually, you know what? Let's just stick to the actual main roads. I don't want to damage... Whoa! I don't want to damage... Um, a leased vehicle so we're just going to stick to the main roads i feel like i should be able to go down there but stick to the main roads it is going to be the best option and that way you know we don't literally on our first day make people hate us <laughs> that would not be ideal right so i'm going to drive to clever motors now and then i'm going to grab the truck what i should have actually done is grab the i should have gone to clever motors with the truck and the tractor on actually i should have gone with the tractor really that would have been better hmm but i didn't know at the time that i was actually going to buy the weeder so that's okay it's not the end of the world it's not like i foresaw that happening uh i was at that point still just interested in the weeder 
So yeah, right, I'm gonna drive to the dealership. And then probably grab the truck back to home, grab the tractor, and then go pick up the weeder. So I'll see you guys at some point during that process. It's probably going to be a while. So I'll see you guys then. All right, I'm back. And uh, we got the harvester delivered back, and they were happy. Uh, it was literally... It was so so quick a lease that they they I mean they didn't even wash it so <laughs> yeah that was really quick uh, and now we're gonna quickly pick up our weeder it is still there it was obviously there when I just dropped the uh, harvester and picked up the truck so that's okay it would be really weird if it just disappeared in the meantime right sir so. oh that's chat hey cool. Anyway, right, um, we're going to pick this one up and then drive home. Not sure where I'm going to put this, actually. Not sure where this is going to go yet, but we'll figure it out. I think it might just go in front of the lawnmower, uh, if it can actually fit in. Might be a bit too high. Might have to go at the back as well with the back mower. Uh, anyway, right, I'm going to drive there and put it all away, uh, but that is going to be the end of this vlog. There's not much else that's going to happen today. I'm going to have a look at options and prices regarding the, the uh, sunflower. It's going to be a while before we harvest that, but I might in between now and then start getting that field ready. And if the sunflower is not going to be worth it, as in if it's going to cost more to actually harvest it. So if I work on a thousand five hundred um, liters per of that size, small size field, we're looking at about maybe five thousand, maybe even six thousand liters. So um, yeah, we'll have a oh somebody hit the stop sign. Uh, anyway, so we'll have a look at that. Uh, or I'll have a look at that and then make the decision. It might be worth just plowing it all and putting grass in. Since we have everything we can, we need for grass, that might be a good idea. We just need... Actually, we do have a cedar now. Yeah, that's cool. We've It's literally on here. That's really handy. Uh, so we can actually just do that. We don't have a cultivator. That's the one thing we need. We do not have a cultivator. Um, let me have a look. I don't think this will fit in the back. Oh, I don't think this will fit in here. Anyway, I keep uh, distracting myself here. This uh, is going to be the end of the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please do smash the like button. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. And I'll see you all in the next vlog. See ya!